Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Savannah Switch TV. This is your first time here. Kindly click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon for notifications so whenever I drop new videos, you always stay updated and notified. Don't also forget to follow me on Instagram with Blessed. Follow me there. Let me know the kind of videos you want to see. I'll make that for you guys. And thanks to most of you guys already following me on Instagram. I really, really appreciate every single one of you following me over there. So a video of Whiskey vibing to the video's song um, was shared online and also a video of the video vibing whiskey song yesterday was also shared online but before getting all those stories let's take a look at other things that have been happening in the nigerian entertainment industry first let's start with the story of timini egubo sin and actress dokas fabsin timini and dokas said them they are both best friends and a video of them in bed was shared online on social media and, and this got a lot of people talking saying that um, they are not just best friends that they have something in between them and um people africans most especially can't just be best friends without like Balashing and smashing, you know how they be. But first, let's take a look at the video clip of the both of them in bed together. Roll it. I'll find a boyfriend. Man. Man. Yeah, you're fucking just. Man. Let me live. Let's see, where's all the fine boys though, for real? Fine boys, they don't get money. It's true, that's how you're. Boys will get money, they don't find. Or they don't have to speak English. It's true, you see that being the other day, I said that the, the better you are speaking English means the tight. No. Fuck, I forgot to announce the English. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think Nigerians are right and that they are not just best friends and they have something in between them? Come on, from the look of the video, what do you think about this? Let us know what you think about this in the comment section, guys. But personally, for me, to me, they smash this babe. Now, actress Dokas has reacted to the allegation of her sleeping with her best friend, Timini. Actress Dokas Fabsin has reacted to the allegation of sleeping with actor Timini Ekubosin after they were both spotted in bed together. The allegation stemmed from a video of the entertainers lying on a bed which went viral. Reacting to the allegation, Docker stated that people who think that a man and a woman can't be best friends without sleeping with each other shows that they have no self-control. She revealed that some guys are scared to talk to her because of Timini. This is what she posted. The fact that you guys can't understand a man and a woman being best friends without sleeping with each other just shows you have no self-control. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we would have this issue if we were both ugly. I hate that guys are scared to talk to me because of Timini. Talk block A. But guys, what do you think about this? Do you think they are doing it? Let us know your opinion about this in the comment section. Still on the bestie matter between male and female, um, Princess Shingo advises women who allow their men to keep female besties. Princess Shingo has taken to Instagram to address women who allow their men keep female besties and go on vacations together. According to Princess, there is no such thing as male and female bestie, being besties and both of them will eventually smash at some point. According to her, there will be no intimate relationship between them, only if the man in question is 100% gay. She posted, there is no such thing as a man and a woman being besties. It's either they are sleeping together or one is crushing on the other. The first man I ever got married to was my bestie for over 10 years and every time I see him, we F-U-C-K. He had a girl and I had a man, but that didn't stop us. His girlfriend believed it. He would actually let us hang out and chill. And my man at that time also believed it. And 10 years later, they broke up and we got married. As for me, there is no way in hell I will let my man have a female bestie. Because I remember when I was forming bestie with someone for 10 years and his girl believed it. She would actually let us hang out and chill. And my man at the time also believed it. And 10 years later, we got married. I can imagine what is going through their mind now. All my life, I've tried having a male bestie, but all want to smash at some point. Long story short, never encourage or entertain your partner being bestie and sharing bed, taking trips with the opposite sex because they are definitely fucking. Oh, unless it's gay. Guys, what do you think about what Princess Shingo is saying? Do you think Princess Shingo is saying the bitter truth? Guys, do you have any female friend that is your bestie? That you guys are really close but you haven't smashed and you're not going to smash and you don't like her like you don't want to smash her do you have any female friend that's your bestie like that no. and for the females do you have a male bestie that you guys are real close but you don't smash you guys sh go on vacations together sleep in the same bed together do everything together and you guys have not smashed Guys, this is ridiculous. Nobody will believe it. But let us know your own opinion in the comment section. Before we get to the whiskey and the video story, um, Pastor Peter said God told him that TB Joshua is in hellfire and Namdi Kanu may die soon. Senior Pastor of Divine Mercy Church, Ola Tobi Loba Peters, has claimed that God revealed things to him about late Nigerian tele-evangelist TB Joshua 
and Unam Dikanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. According to Pastor Peters, God revealed to him that the late clergyman T.B. Joshua did not make heaven. Pastor Peter added that powers of the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations was not from God. Recall that T.B. Joshua died a few days after conducting a service in his church. He was reportedly found unconscious in his private apartment while the service was ongoing in Lagos. Pastor Peter said, God showed me a revelation of the night that Timitope Joshua did not make it to heaven. In that revelation, I saw that I could not make it because the powers he was using was not from God. This is what was revealed to me. T.B. Joshua was, however, a good man and one of the greatest philanthropists of our time. But the things of the Spirit are different from how many see things. It's not about being a philanthropist, but is God really involved? Is God happy with what he was doing? God is not a source of power, and this should be a lesson to humanity. The pastor also disclosed that Nnam Dikanu may not see the end of the year. I see Nnam Dikanu vacating this earth and another taking his place as a result of his demise. Mark my word, Kanu will not be the one to actualize Biafra, but we will not live long to see it happen. Tell Kanu to amend and make his ways right with God because I see him exiting this earth soon, he said. Guys, I keep asking this question, why is it that all these so-called men of God, all these so-called pastors only see bad things happening, they don't see good things happening, they don't see positivity happening, they only predict negativity, they only see negative prophecies. Why guys? Is that how prophecy works? <laughs> I don't know Sha, but guys, let me know your own opinion in the comment section. Now to the story of Whiskey, you know, a few days back, Whiskey was um, dragged on social media for promoting Made the Lagos series at Mist Process, despite calling Ricardo Banks an animal once because um, Ricardo Banks tweeted like try to promote their song during the Ed Stars protest and Whiskey really like that. So a lot of people are calling Whiskey the hypocrite for like promoting his Made in Lagos series at missed um, the June 12th protest. A lot of people were not happy with this and a lot of people dragged him on social media. In fact, let's take a look at some people's comments on Twitter. Somebody said, you be real mugu, you this ayo. If you can't lend your voice, leg out my friend. Same Twitter where they banned for your country, ni. they want to take promote song, sorry. Then somebody retweeted the time Whiskey dragged Ricardo Banks and said, just calling out hypocrisy. Another person said, celebrities are not your problem. Tweet to support the protest if you can go out there to protest or shut the F up. Now celebrities will not vote for. Do what you feel like doing and stop being stupid. The same nigga postponed his album because of NSARS. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think Whiskey deserves to be dragged like this for promoting his Made in Lagos series um, despite the June 12th protest? Do you think it's fair to drag Whiskey like this? Guys, let us know your own opinion in the comment section. So that is all about the protest. So yesterday being the 13th of June, Sunday, Whiskey had a show in Abuja at um, Hustle and Bosu Club. So while Whiskey was going to Abuja, on the private jet he was in, um, one of the videos song was played and Whiskey was vibing to the song and somebody recorded Whiskey and they posted it online. Let's take a look at the video clip, guys. Fine, let's take a look at video clips from the moment um, Big Wiz arrived in Abuja and everything that happened. Roll it. The video also vibe to a um, whiskey song at the club. Let's take a look at that video clip too. Really. Just watch tonight, man. I 
From up here. Yes, man. From up here. Yeah, now live in Abuja, you already know with my main man. Solid man. Yeah. Spin you know. on zero. <laughs> All the way up from here. Yeah, man. Up there. Yeah, yeah, man. 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 I want us to sing the biggest song in the world. This is not just the biggest song in Lagos. This is not just the biggest song in Accra. This is not just the biggest song in Nairobi, Kenya. This is the biggest song in the fucking world right now. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think Whiskey and David Do really has any beef, or they are just doing all this dragging just for to promote their their name and brand? Do you think they are really beefing in real life? Guys, personally, I don't think Whiskey and David Do has any real beef. I think everything they are doing is just business business strategy. But guys, what do you think about this? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. That is all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to slap a like on this video. Click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And also click on the bell icon for notifications. Whenever I update, upload new videos, you'll always stay updated and notified. Follow me on Instagram with Master Bless. Take care, guys. Stay safe. See you later for another video. And peace.